Moles are among the most remarkable diggers in the animal kingdom. In human culture, moles are animals that have sometimes conjured up images of industry and hard work. With their massive claws, they hollow out an impressive system of tunnels and chambers underneath soft, moist soil. These complex underground labyrinths provide defensive protection, a source of food, and an entire home for the mole. This is critical to moles' survival, because they are otherwise defenseless animals against humans and predators. It has proven to be a remarkably successful survival strategy that enables the moles to flourish around the world. During the Middle Ages, the English word for the mole was actually moldwarp. This has its origins in a Germanic word possibly meaning earth thrower. The term, mountain out of a molehill, probably originated later from the English Tudor period around the 1500s. These creatures have sometimes been hunted for their short, soft coat of fur. In order to make it easier for the mole to move around in the tunnels, this fur can bend in any direction. The star-nosed mole is perhaps the strangest-looking species of moles. To give you an idea of what it looks like, you should picture 22 tentacle-like structures jutting out from the nose. These tentacles make the star-nosed mole extremely sensitive to vibrations and electricity produced by prey. They can dig about 15 to 18 feet of tunnels in an hour. The mole is an animal with a striking, distinctive appearance, well adapted for its burrowing lifestyle. Its massive hands, short limbs, and sharp claws enable it to burrow through the ground with relative ease. These hands also sometimes make excellent paddles for swimming. What's really remarkable about the physical characteristics is that these huge forepaws contain two thumbs each. Whereas the other fingers have multiple joints, the thumbs are only composed of a single bone. This digital setup appears to be unique to this animal, because it is not a feature of the closely related shrews. Other interesting features of the mole include the small, beady eyes and the lack of visible external ear flaps. This is complemented by a short tail and a hairless pointed snout lined with whiskers. The long, flat body is covered in black or brown fuzzy fur as well. This creature digs through the ground with a swift fore and aft motion, which resembles a swimming stroke. It will then push the loose soil to the surface, creating the well-known molehill. The mole has a much easier time digging in moist soil, though it can also churn through dry soil as well. The underground tunnels are quite complex, extending perhaps hundreds of feet in every direction and containing both storage and nesting areas. These chambers can exist a full 15 feet underground. When needed, the mole is a master of improvisation. It can create entirely new underground networks in a matter of hours. Moles spend the majority of their lives underground, only traveling to the surface to gather nest material and find water during droughts. It does almost everything else underground, including feeding and copulation. The mole has evolved unique hemoglobin, oxygen carrying molecules in the blood to survive long periods of low oxygen while underground. They are active in both day and night during short spurts of wakefulness in between intervals of sleep. The mole family is an incredibly diverse bunch that has evolved unique characteristics to cope with the various ecosystems in which it resides. For instance, the American, Asia, and Japanese shrew moles have long tails, external ear flaps, and smaller hands. They spend more time above ground than the typical mole. Some species of Russian moles, on the other hand, are amphibious creatures with webbed feet, water-repellent fur, long tails, and closable facial openings to prevent water from entering. They still nest in burrows but come out to forage underwater for their food. Finally, the European mole has the ability to construct a large mound above ground, 
composed of nearly 2,000 pounds of soil. This formidable structure contains the same network of tunnels and rooms as a normal underground burrow. These creatures differ quite a bit in terms of size too. The American shrew mole is the smallest of the species. Its body measures less than 2 inches and weighs no more than an ounce. The largest species is the Russian desmin, which measures up to 9 inches and weighs nearly 8 ounces. The typical mole species is somewhere in between these two extremes. It measures about 6 inches long and weighs about 4 ounces, or less than the size of a chipmunk. Males are called boars, while females are called sows. The sexes are very similar in size and appearance, but female anatomy may undergo significant changes during the breeding season. The mole compensates for its poor vision with a powerful sense of hearing and touch. The hairs on the snout and claws are capable of sensing the surrounding environment with remarkable detail. The mole also communicates via scent glands by marking its territory as a warning against outside intruders. The mole is a solitary creature that will aggressively defend its territory from any perceived threats. A group of moles, which is called a labor, may come together at certain times of the year for the breeding season. Some moles are also known to take over an absent neighboring burrow when given the opportunity. The mole family is present on every major continent except for Antarctica. It prefers temperate ecosystems with moist or loose soil, including prairies, floodplains, forests, coastal dunes, wetlands, gardens, cultivated fields, and lowland or alpine meadows. In warmer climates, the mole is primarily restricted to the cooler mountainous habitats. Given its massive range, this species is a very diverse family with lots of different physical characteristics, habitats, and survival strategies. The mole's favorite food is earthworm, insects, and other small invertebrate. This is supplemented with seeds, roots, tubers, fungi, and small mammals. Some species have specialized diet requirements. In the case of some amphibious moles, they will also eat fish and amphibians. The mole has a special toxin in its saliva that immobilizes prey so it can store and consume the meat at a later time. The creature can consume its entire body weight in food every single day to support its energy-intensive digging habits.